the other day I was in Hancock Park taking pictures of someone's house and a woman ran out and she was like, you paparazzi, just leave us alone. Like, but she was so irate that I, you know, I was like, well, actually, I don't know who lives here, nor do I care. I just think you have an interesting house. There are a lot of things that I find really compelling about living in Los Angeles. You come to LA and the architectural forms here are myriad and diverse and baffling. And it's sort of my, my current fixation as an architectural or urban photographer, documenting places that just are not what they seem or that are hidden in plain sight. become so many better ways of sort of like putting your words or music or images out there. Like this architectural photo blog, like I'm just taking pictures of stuff that I like and putting it out there if people want to pay attention to it. I started doing photography when I was 10 years old because my uncle had been a photographer at the New York Times. He started giving me his like slightly like cast off hand-me-down equipment. And then architecture, I grew up really, really poor in a really wealthy environment. Like I was hyper aware of the fact that I lived in a tiny place and my friends lived in big places. If you've never seen the Ennis House, it's probably the strangest, most remarkable piece of like residential urban architecture in the world. It looks like it was built by Incan space aliens 4,000 years ago. You know, it doesn't look like anything that came before it except for Incan temples, and it doesn't look like anything that's come after it. And then there's a Seventh-day Adventist church on Hollywood and I think Bronson. It's this weird concrete Corbusier-inspired mid-century purple church. It's beautiful, I think, but it's sort of baffling. It's so incongruous to its setting, and it's but at the same time it works perfectly. One of my challenges as a dilettante architectural photographer is to try and sometimes find the stuff that no one else is paying attention to.